you know guys uh on part 10 on part 10 we spoke about strategic betting strategic betting uh, that will uh, sort of eliminate our losses how are we going to do it we said we will have a number of teams we will have sort of pool of teams yet yeah, that we've already analyzed and we said they are so much suitable for this market we said we're gonna do this strategic betting using this market because this market is one of the market that is so much possible it's so it's so possible to happen in such a way that um for other teams it happens consecutively even 10 games in a row you know so we decided to use it because it's easy and it happens most of the time so we chosen a number of teams here all of these teams we said they are already analyzed all of these teams are analyzed and all of these teams you are see they are suitable for this and of course others are suitable not only for multi goals home or away one to three but two to three as well you know teams such as ac milan teams such as liverpool those are teams that you can um those are teams that you can try your luck on on two to three as two to three multi goal home or away team is the one that have higher odds because i know people like to try with higher odds in fact uh, we will also make a video that has two to three specifically out of these teams so nevertheless and here these um these are the last five league matches and we are focusing on league matches guys not cup matches i've seen people already others are winning and especially this week others are winning on uefa they said they tried a strategy and it worked a bit and then they won some cash which is good but we are not going to focus on that we said no cup matches only league matches so these stats here that you see here the last five matches these are the last five league matches and liverpool as you can see there it has been uh, falling on this strategy 100 percent so which means that it's good and there's a lot of hundreds if you can see that hopefully that next week or rather as time goes by these teams will produce 100 percent all of them i don't know but or rather mostly 100 percent so these are the teams and this is week one this is week one and today it's friday why week one is starting on friday because there was no league match and yeah there were league matches but those teams that were playing they were not one of there was no team that is from our pool here you know what i mean so we're using these teams so if none of these teams is playing a, a league match that week so that means there's no week one you know what i mean as it is the case now so for our weekly our week one we're expecting to have odds of eight or more and we're going to stay with 25 rand and we're willing to produce payout of that much including the stake uh, or more so how are we going to do that this is how we must do it i'm sure everyone have this app which is sofa score if you don't have it you can download it this is the sofa score app and today is the 30th which is friday and if you check england here if you have the app there's a match that is playing in england and it's crystal palace and if you check spain there's a match there which is cadiz and if you check uh, germany there's schalke there versus stuttgart but nevertheless if you want to make things easy for yourself this is what you must do if you have the app this is what you must do let's go back to the spreadsheet and check these teams this is what you must do now check these teams how many countries do you have here liverpool manchester city crystal palace arsenal all of these are from england so you have england which is one you have spain which is two you have italy which is three germany four france which is five belgium denmark austria norway switzerland portugal russia so you have only these leagues so this is what you must do if you have the app go to this app you go to matches in fact these are the teams these are the the countries you click here it will be like this and then you click on this pin you see this pin here you click on this pin you click on this pin so that you can pin this league because this league is one of your league um, that have teams for your strategy 
and then you go to Spain, you do the same, but I've, as you can see, I've already pinned this. So once you pin everything, Austria, Belgium, and Denmark, all of these that have the teams that are on our pool, you come here, you go up, as you can see, the pinned leagues, if you read there, then you click on that drop down. All of your pinned leagues will appear here. Every time when there's a match that is playing, it will appear here. For instance, today there are matches that are playing for England, Crystal Palace, uh, in EBA, which is La Liga, in uh, Bundesliga, Germany, which is Schalke and Stuttgart. And when you get here, this is what you must do. Let me just erase this quickly. This is what you must do when you get here. You find those, these teams, not all of these teams. Yes, the leagues, I mean the countries are countries that we have, are countries that have teams that are on our pool. But today, they are not playing. You understand what I mean? For instance, here in Portugal, they are not playing. None of them. Porto is not there. It's not one of the teams that is in our strategy. Denmark, this one is not there. In uh, Belgium, it's not there. Marseille is there, but it's a pity that this match is postponed. But if it's there, just click on this thing. Just click on this alarm here. You see, if you click here, you sort of taking it outside. You are putting it on your favorites. You're putting it there. And then you go to Germany. This is not ours. Cadiz, if you can check here, just double check, Spain, there's Cadiz, there's Cadiz, it means Cadiz is also in our strategy and it's playing today, Cadiz, Crystal Palace is also there, see, once you put these alarms and then you come to favorites, you will see there, if you see there, they are there, they are here, all of them, they are here. I've already selected the, the others, as you can see, that are playing tomorrow and that are playing Sunday, which is all the teams that are playing this week, basically. Those, these teams are all in our, um, these teams are all in our pool. All of these teams, you can see Lille, Lille there, you can see uh, Copenhagen, Wolfsburg, AC, you can see them, there's Juventus, Molden, all of that, Wolfsburg, AC, as you can see. So... I've selected them already. If you want to select them also, it's simply go to matches and you go to your pinned leagues. Make sure you go to your pinned so you can have all your countries there. But here, instead for now, they will appear, the matches that will appear here, matches that are playing today, you go there on a date, there on top right corner, there, it's 30 there. You select on that, then you select Saturday. See, this is Friday, select Saturday, the 31st. And then, the matches will appear here that are playing Saturday. And you keep on selecting. You see there, I didn't select Chelsea because it's not in my uh, in my pool. So you select only this one, which is Man City. You select Liverpool because it's there. You go further down. You select Madrid here. The rest you don't select. Here you select Leipzig. Here you select uh, nothing here for Saturday. None of the teams that is in our pool. And here you select this one because it's in our pool. So basically this is what you do. And then you change the date to Sunday to finish the week now, the week one. There we go. England, you select Arsenal there. See, you select Levar, Granada there. And so on and so forth. See? So when you get to your favorites now, all of those teams that you've selected, they will appear here. This one is for tomorrow and there are eight matches that you've selected. And it's two for today because this one is postponed. And it's 15 for Sunday. So it means that we have 15 plus 8 plus 2. We have 25 teams to choose from. We have 25 teams to choose from. So that means we can have even three tickets or even four if you want to. But let's make two tickets. So let's get to it. We're going to choose on matches today, tomorrow and Saturday can make two tickets so now out of these matches we're gonna analyze the best we these are these are the best already but we want the best out of this how do we choose the best we're gonna check here a better team here that has a better performance for the last five matches you know the better suitability for this strategy you know so this is what we're gonna do we're gonna go to today's match crystal palace is playing against um Wolverhampton at 10 o'clock tonight. And here Cadiz is playing against Eibar. So let's check these two teams. Eibar and there's Cadiz. 
there's Cadiz. Look at Cadiz, it's 80%. Does this mean that Cadiz won't score at least a goal today? Because it's 80%, it has done this thing at least 80% times. And Crystal Palace is also 80%. And I've seen already people were worried that uh, it's playing against a stubborn uh, Wolves, uh, Wolverhampton. So in this case, this is what you do. You go, you check the opponent, guys. You don't just bet. You check the opponents. See, in this case, Wolverhampton are favorites, of course. That doesn't matter. But you check the opponents. Let's see. Let's see. You check the opponents. You check the standing check the premier standing look at the premier standing these teams have uh same uh points and you can check their previous matches see when you check their previous matches and there's always a tie on this two see four four and they draw two and you go down you check other things just check previous matches and see if um crystal palace has extended chance of scoring here but i mean the statistics according to this it says a lot that Crystal Palace has done this 80% times. If you want to go back and double check for Crystal Palace, you click on Crystal Palace and check they did this against who? Check that they did against Fulham and they won the match. They throw against uh, Brighton and they did that against Everton, a high team. They did that against Manchester United. So what's stopping them from scoring today? I mean, they did that. These are the statistics. What's stopping them now? They did this against teams that are higher than them. So what's stopping them now from doing it against a team that is sort of an equal? You're getting my point. And the statistics also are telling us that, look, 80% is not bad. It's better than 60%. Are you getting my point? So I'll give them a chance. If you know what I mean, I'll take them. And then, Aba versus Cadiz. Let's see that. If you can check that quickly, pre-match standing, Cadiz has been performing. Here. Cadiz has been a better team, but and I won't rule them out according to statistics. They are there. The stat is saying that they have been scoring goals when they meet opponents, and that's why they are here. In their last five matches, they did that eighty percent times. So, we take them. There's no need to analyze them. These teams are already... It's like we are doing a pre-analysis here so that we can choose a top 10. Nevertheless, we go further. We check Manchester City. Manchester City is 100%. So, we take Manchester City because the stats are saying it according to our own stats. Check Real Madrid. Let's see, Real Madrid, 80%. But look at who are they playing. You also check the opponents. You don't just... This is like a pre, uh, this is like a, a pre-analysis, I can say. You don't just use the stats here yeah, according to this. We have try and then it's 100% according to our stats. But check the opponents this time around. As much as it is 100%, but check the opponent. What are the chances? Sheffield against this? No way, man. It will happen. Real Madrid against Huesca. Who is Huesca against Madrid? Let's see who is Huesca. Madrid is on number two. And Madrid has been scoring. Look at who Wesker and look at previous matches. If you want to do a pre match analysis, look at Madrid. Madrid stand a better chance of scoring and they can do it. So, this is a good one. Okay, then let's continue. So, we're going to take Madrid. So, now we're taking Madrid, we're taking Manchester City, we're taking these two. So, it's four matches Spartak Moscow against Rostov. Spartak Moscow there against Rostov, the pre-match standing. Look at Spartak Moscow number one, the previous matches. Let's check the previous matches. Okay, I can see something here. Even if Rostov has beaten them in the past, that 4-1, four, four we want them to score. That's what we want. And look at this. It has been showing that. So, I mean, it's already here. We are just doing a pre-match analysis here. Otherwise, it's already here. If you check Spartak Moscow, yeah, there's Spartak Moscow, 100%. So let's choose them also, saying it will go 1, to 3 in this match, in this week. So we have 1, 2, we have um, 5 now. Let's go back and here. Now here, we have a problem. We have two teams that are on our... If you can check these teams in Denmark, you see this? 
this uh, Midland, I don't know what the name of the team, and Sunday what what. They are playing together. And when they are playing together, it means that now we have a choice. Let's choose a favorite here, which is Mindlek, the away team. Let me check them. And Mindlek, you can see 100%. And even Nordelek want what? 100%. So it's a matter of choice here. But I'll always go with the favorite in this case. I'll always go with the favorite. But let me just check. You can always do the pre match analysis and see. Just check and see. Oh, look at that. 6 nil. Oh, shit. Look at that. Look at that. But that was a once off. Look at that. Okay. So you have a choice here. Everything is on the stats. You have a choice. Everything is here on the stats. 100%, 100%. So you choose. So basically, just to cut it short, guys, you have a number of teams. So this is what I will do. I will choose the teams and I will post it on my Facebook. Uh, I will put the ticket there. I'll put the ticket on what I've chosen and I'll make two tickets. So you make your choice or rather I'll make the choices according to this and you can also try and I'll put it there for the week and then I will just have to wait until Sunday. Other than that, that's it. That's just the, an update and to show you that I'm active and I want to, the easy way is to put this thing on Facebook take out the tickets if we need to have an um a conversation or rather a, an exchange or what do you what do you call this a sort of um a discussion for the teams that we are choosing which one is better and which one is not we can also do that on facebook you tell me after i've posted what you think about the ticket and you can take a screenshot of, i think i've posted a screenshot of this you can go back to this screenshot and see which one you will choose instead. You understand? You have we have a pool. We don't want to choose anything out of this. So you choose everything that is here. So yeah. I'll post this on Facebook. I'll post the tickets there. The two tickets.